to welcome you to the Florida Chamber's annual insurance summit. Uh, this 2014 uh, insurance summit is going to be a little different than the annual summits that we've had in the past. We've, we're expanding the conversation this year to talk about different parts of what's important to Florida's future in the insurance arena. Insurance is much more important than some people think with regard to its economic impact on the state. It's an important part of a healthy economy and uh, we can't afford to ignore the implications of, of not getting it right. One of the major reasons we sponsor the Insurance Summit with the Florida Chamber of Commerce is because it brings together people from all different spectrums that affect the property insurance, the auto insurance, and property and casualty insurance marketplace as a whole. It's a great opportunity to network with people within the industry and also interact with public policy makers with an exchange of ideas on what reforms need to be taken in order to keep this marketplace healthy. We have five of the real experts in the Florida legislature on insurance issues. The Florida Chamber is instrumental to the, the different corporate side of things and helps bring all the parties involved to talk about what are the important issues. So certainly this is the place to be to talk to the industry, uh, talk to different businesses from down to the agents to the actual writers. So uh, it's, I'm glad they invited me and uh, I'm going to do my part to share what we're doing. I think we've been creating policies always with the interest to find out how we continue to support the private sector. Um, I, I would reverse the role a little bit in saying, you know, the, these big carriers need to come forward with ideas as to what is it going to take to bring them back to the private market, whether we can support that with policy or not, we'd have to discuss it. It's always fun to get to put the ideas out here and see, you know, what ideas stick, what makes good sense for the state, and work together to move them forward. Increases cross-subsidies in the market, further camouflages risks, and it would be a terrible long-term uh, decision for the state. We hope that we can get the statutory support that we need to be able to build that out over time and extend this premise, if you will, of the program to the commercial residential. The state had started, was basically increasing its debt similar to the federal government. State debt had increased by $5.2 billion in four years and we went from having money in the bank for unemployment insurance to owing the federal government $3.5 billion. The attendees at the Florida Chamber Conference have just joined the more than four million Floridians and global guests who have seen Stormstruck a Tale of Two Homes. It's a 4D experience, it's entertaining, but it's also informative. You are the hero of your stories. You rebuild your house and help your neighbors rebuild after a hurricane. But importantly, you do some things that you can actually do in the real world that will make your house and your community safer from the inevitable next hurricane. You have business interests, you have insurance interests, you have the, the, the politicians that are here, and it's, it's a good cross-section of society to be able to deal with and come up with ideas. In your experience, how have you seen politics play a role in property insurance issues in the many states in which you've worked? Life insurance, it seems like it's one of those things you just pretty much get. Uh, you know, set it and forget about it. As much capital is out there and as many people that are looking at this, I mean, if there's anyone that saw any opportunity to make some profit by doing something a little bit differently or for a little bit less than, than everyone else, they would do it. It's really important to have this dialogue and it be healthy and it be, uh, and it be wide open and, uh, and well participated and that's what the uh, Chamber has put together here. Yeah.